Let's move ahead right now where we are tracking all the updates coming in from Manipur. You know how Mr. Amit Shah is in, uh, has been reviewing the situation in Manipur. Remember, he cancelled all his rallies uh, which were due for Maharashtra and then came back to the national capital. Tensions remain high. And amid the unrest, the National People's Party has withdrawn support from the N. Biren Singh-led NDA government with NPP Vice President urging the central government to decide on new leadership. Now, these developments, viewers, come as Amit Shah cancelled the political tour in Maharashtra to focus on the crisis, which has seen mob violence. Uh, sources say that Amit Shah will hold a second meeting today itself. So, Amit Shah, Home Minister, is... Uh, holding a key meeting, reviewing this escalating situation uh, which is unfolding in Manipal. Unrest has broken out for the past two days in Manipur against over the last two days. So uh, what we see right now are back-to-back -back updates and uh, as unrest has broken out in Manipur, let's go ahead and play out this entire report where we highlight what has been happening in Manipur so far. Manipur hurled into a fresh spell of anarchy and chaos a day after the mortal remains of six abducted Methi people, including women, were recovered. A mob tried to storm the residence of Chief Minister N. Biren Singh, while there were multiple reports of furious protesters targeting the properties of ministers and MLAs. Dramatic visuals showed vehicles up in flames and houses gutted as a fresh wave of tensions and violent protests gripped the troubled northeast state. This is the residence of Minister Govinda Kanthosam. The house was attacked by mob last night and you can see the damage, extensive damage in fact that has been caused in this house by the mob which uh, stormed into the residence of the minister last night and they not only uh, damaged the exterior of the house but all the belongings which were inside were vandalized and everything, everything in this house has been set on fire. As tensions escalated, the chief minister came under fire from his cabinet colleague. Meanwhile, Union Home Minister Amit Shah cancelled two rallies that he was to address in the pole-bound Maharashtra and rushed back to Delhi as fresh tensions gripped Manipur. Home Minister Amit Shah also reviewed security meeting and will hold a key meet with the top officials in the national capital tomorrow. The Director General of the CRPF also rushed to Manipur as the state descended into chaos. Meanwhile, in a big blow to Biren Singh government, Conrad Sangma let NPP withdrew support from government. Responding to the fresh spell of violence, former CM and Congress leader Okram Ibobi Singh said that the people of Manipur were not in favour of the imposition of president's rule in the state. Resignation and the replacement, either resignation of the present incumbent chief minister or replacement of this present chief minister, Mr. Biren, this is their outlook. This is party affairs within the party of the BJP. They should have to be decide. Number two, this president, uh, president imposing president rule in the state of Manipur is not advisable. People of Manipur does not like president rule. With the protests escalating and the houses and properties of people's representatives pillaged, vandalized and torched, the pressure is growing on the cornered CM to restore order and rule of law in troubled Manipur. Let's go to Anuruddha joining us on the phone line. Anuruddha has been on the ground in Manipur, in Fal, and has been getting us all these details. I want to go back to you, Anuruddha. Very good morning. And uh, we see that this mob has attacked the residences of ministers, civil society is saying that the center and the state should take some decisive action to stop the violence in Manipur, which has been seen for the past few months now. Go ahead, Anirudha. Uh, what can we expect today in terms of developments? Again, Simangi, very good morning. In fact, uh, the situation continues to remain on the edge in Manipur. And uh, last night also, we saw how the army conducted flag murders in several areas, uh, whereas CRPF, DZ, and NDZ were also seen patrolling the streets of uh, Manipur. Um, in other political development, as 
Uh, we have been pointing out that NPP has withdrawn support from the ambulancing led NDA uh, government in Manipur. Uh, the NPP has also made it clear that they are ready to work with uh, a new city minister or the new government, uh, but they are not uh, in favor of ambulancing. Uh, leading the government as, uh, according to them, he has failed to uh, bring peace and stability to the state of Manipur. Uh, apart from this, there have been also uh, developments uh, co- centering the Congress party, which have uh, indicated that they are in favor of midterm poll, if necessary, in the state of Manipur is the people of Manipur decides. So, so these are multiple developments taking, uh, say, even as Union Home Minister Amit Shah is uh, uh, expected to hold another round of talks today in New Delhi. Sivangi. Right. Anurita is getting the top updates coming in right now. You can see those pictures as well, where there's violence in Manipur. MLA's houses have been burned, army has been deployed, and CRPF is on the spot. So these are the top pictures we're getting for you. Remember that huge mob had gathered and attacked the residences and properties of ministers and MLA's, angered by the continued violence for months. And uh, the trigger uh, was the news of the recovery of decomposed bodies of six people who were allegedly taken hostage after the Jiribam shootout, where 10 kooky uh, militants had died. Okay.